When building a deck, creating the framing comes after you set your footers and before you add your floor joists and deck boards. This step provides the framework for your finished deck, so getting this right is crucial. With the ledger board in place, cut a 2x10 to the same width as the deck. This is called the rim joist and refers to the boards that make up the outer perimeter of the deck. Check to be sure the rim board is level and attach it at a 90 degree angle to the end of the ledger board using galvanized framing nails. Now you're ready to add the support beams. These support the frame of the deck and sit on top of the posts between the rim joists. To build these, pull a level chalk line from each end of the rim joists across the support posts. Then mark and measure two inches above the chalk line to account for where the support beam will sit. Next, measure down from this mark by seven and three eighths inches, which is the height of the support beam. And use a circular saw or reciprocating saw to cut out the notch. The support beam is secured into the notch like a puzzle piece. Once all of these are in place, I like to add a second layer of support beams and rim joists. This just adds extra stability. The edge of a deck can really be vulnerable to bounce, not to mention added weight from people standing at the rail. So adding reinforcement is always a great idea. Once the second beams are nailed into place, add half inch through bolts to secure everything tightly together. Depending on the size of your deck, you may have several beams running parallel to the house. Just make sure the seams where two beams meet are double bolted for extra strength. At this point in the project, you'll want to move on to installing your floor joists. Once those are in, you can attach the final rim board to the front of the deck to complete the framing. When this is complete, you're ready to move on to the next phase of the project.